assalamu alaikum in this lecture we will cover the remaining mcqs of the question paper number 12 appear in june 2022 so let's start which statement describes the structure of the atp adenosine triphosphate as we know that the adenosine triphosphate has the ribose sugar it in so we can say that it is an rna nucleotide with the one phosphate is already present with the nucleotide whether it is uh, rna or the dna right so it has it is as it is two uh, triphosphate so we can say it has two extra phosphates so option c here is the right answer rifampicin is an antibiotic that is used to treat the tuberculosis it works by inhibiting the rna polymerase in bacteria which processes are directly inhibited by the antibiotic if it inhibits the rna polymerase it means that it inhibits the protein synthesis it it will not encounter with the dna replication or atp synthesis so it will encounter with the enzyme synthesis that is the protein synthesis so option d here is the right answer the table shows the dna uh, the triplet codons for the some amino acids right these are the amino acids and these are the codons the basic principles of the triplet dna strand is this which code for a particular polypeptide the two mutations will occur in the sequence during the dna replication mid mutated dna the mid would result in the shorter polypeptide shorter polypeptide can also can only be produced if the mutation such kind of mutation will occur which leads to production of stop codon if the stop codon will appear among at any side of that particular polypeptide uh, then it will lead to a uh, stop the polypeptide chain here and will result in the production of the shorter polypeptide so it can be the stop codon okay. so we have to check all the options given below and we have to find out which um, uh, uh, which codon among these sequences is coding for the stop codon and producing the shorter polypeptide so we find out that stop codon is atc so whether the atc is present among all these options or not so let's find out atc is present here so we can see that the remaining sequence is the same but atc is present here so the, the polypeptide production will stop here and will result in the production of shorter polypeptide so option c here is the right answer some of the features present in the transport tissues are listed yes uh, which features are present in the xylem vessel we have to identify only those features which are present in the xylem vessels xylem vessels they have the lignified walls yes their walls have the lignin that by we can say that they have the lignified walls cytoplasm cytoplasm is present it is not specifically associated with the transportation right it is so mitochondria it is absent in the xylem vessel pits yes pits are present in the uh, xylem vessel elements so that the rate of the transpiration can be reduced plasma is present they are not present so option c is the right answer the diagram shows the transfer sections through the parts of the plant the diagram typically is showing the xylem and the phloem cells here the uh, which row is correct contains lignin as we know that the xylem contains lignin and the transport organic solutes phloem is involved in the transport of organic solutes so we have to find out which point shows xylem and the which point shows the phloem vessels as we can see that uh, here one shows that particular here one four and the six point shows the xylem cells One, four, and six show xylems, and two, three, and five show that are the phloem cells. Option B here is the right answer. Which molecules form the hydrogen bonds that are during the transpiration? Cellulose in the xylem wall. Yes, cellulose will make can make the hydrogen bonding with the water, so that the water molecules can ret retain here. Suberin, suberin is not involved in the uh, hydrogen bonding. Other water molecules, yes, sure they will. So one and three are the correct ones. So option C here is the right answer. Some plants which is can take up the heavy metal contaminants, and they that are absorbed in the soil water and then transported them with the plant. But within the plant, so they are accumulated into the vacuole. And what suggestion about the transport and accumulation of the heavy metals are valid? 
After the initial entry into the root, some of the heavy metals can pass through the pronoclast to be stored into the vacuole of the cell in the cortex. Yes. Because the root cells have the vacuole and the heavy metals begin to be used to accumulate in the vacuoles of the root cells. This is correct one. The heavy metals can take an apoplastic pathway in the xylem, but at the endodermis must take a syntax pathway. Yes. Because xylem has a zero and there is no cytoplasm, so they uh, move with the apoplast pathway here and the endodermis has cytoplasm, so the simplest pathway will be used here. The rate of the accumulation in the heavy metals in the leaf cells will be faster at night when the photosynthesis is not working. No, it is not related to the photosynthesis at all. The presence of the heavy metals causes the transpiration stream to slow down. No, the rate of the transpiration only depends upon the surface area and the environmental conditions, not to the accumulation of the heavy metals. So, point one and two are correct here. So, option A is the right answer. What is the correct route for the movement of the water from the cell to cell in the apoplast pathway? Through the adjacent cell surface membranes, as this is the apoplast pathway. Yes, it can be, but there should be something else which is more related to it. Through intracellular spaces, yeah, this is, it is more related to it. The cells have intracellular spaces. The water molecules should be present outside of the cell so that they can be moved inside the cells. So from these intracellular spaces, the water molecules will uh, move into, in, inside the cells and through the epiplast pathway. Through plasma transmitter, no. Plasma transmitter is uh, related to the simplest pathway through the capillary. So option B here is the right answer. Which role shows the correct sequence of the moment of the sucrose into the flow and tube cells? So we have to discuss all the points and find out the correct one. First of all, in, in order to get inside the sucrose molecules to get inside the flow and tube elements, first of all, proton pumps are involved here because it requires the um, active transport. It is the active transport process, right? And uh, first of all, the proton pump will release the proton out of the companion cells so that the phloem and uh, so that the sucrose molecules and the protons can together get inside the sieve tube elements because companion cells are just there to uh, assist in the uh, functioning of the sieve tube elements. So, uh, we have to um, sucrose molecule, we have to get inside the sucrose molecules inside the phloem sieve tubes. So, proton pump will, uh, protons will be moved out of the uh, companion cells and then the, both the proton and the sucrose will en enter inside the sieve tube elements, companion cells firstly and then into the sieve tube elements. So, um, we can say that the active transport of the proton says it plays a very important role in the sieve tube elements. So, option D here is the right answer. What occurs during the ventricular system in a mammalian heart? Aortic pressure increases, yes, when the ventricular systole will occur, then the ventricles will push their blood towards the aorta and the aorta pressure will increase. Arterial um, pressure does not change, atrial, uh, sorry, atrial pressure does not change. They will change, the pressure inside the atrium will become decreased. Ventricular pressure increases. Yes, ventricular pressure will increase because when the pressure will the uh, in, uh, in the ventricular system, the pressure of the blood in the ventricle is increased, and then it will lead to increase the pressure inside the aorta because the blood is moved from the ventricle to the aorta. So option uh, B here is the right answer. I will finish my lecture here. Meet you in the next lecture. Till then, stay tuned and Allah Hafiz.